Hi everyone. Um, I've been asked a question by um, Tracy Platt um, about Dilusions paints. Um, she sent me a message asking what the difference was between Dilusions paint and normal acrylic. And so I'm going to try um, and explain. Um, for me, um, it's it's about the pigmentation and the way the paint goes onto the, the paper. So I've grabbed um, some dobbers. Um, this is the one that I use for my Dilusions paint. And you can see that I've got a bit of a, bit of a problem with my, my pink. Ranger are sending me a new one. Mine's gone completely lumpy, um, but that's fine. You saw there that I picked up minimal amount of paint and I've just swirled that around on um, my paper. So that's the Dilusions in Bubblegum Pink. And I'm going to compare it with Crawford and & Black um, and Crafters Choice Acrylic. So this is the Crawford and Black um, in rose. So these colours are, are very, very similar. You can you can see um, to the to the dilutions. I've tried to pick as similar colours as, as I can. So as I say, this is the Crawford and Black. And I don't know whether you can see. Um, that for one, I don't think it goes on as smoothly and it just isn't anywhere near um, as pigmented. And this is a crafter's choice, Royal and Langnickel. And you see that one's even, even less pigmented. But then it's, you know, that's just a crafter's, um, um, you know, a craft paint and that's 99p, whereas the Dilutions is £5 a, a pot. Um, in terms of the amount that's in it, let's have a look. Um, they're both the same, 59ml um, in each. So, so that's the that's the pink, and then I've done a, for, a few more for you here, and I don't know whether you can tell as well that when you use the dilutions, you don't get any buckling um, on the paper at all. Whereas, whereas you can see here that it's much wetter, um, and the paper has has buckled. I don't know whether you can you can see that, but I've tried a few different colours. This is Dilusions Vibrant Turquoise and I've blended that with the bubblegum pink and it just blends really easily, really nicely. And I compared that with um, a graduate acrylic. So this is a good quality um, acrylic paint. Um, and again, you've got, you've got the vibrancy here, you've got the pigment, but it just doesn't blend um, in the same way I find that the Dilusions does. Um, and that one was the Crawford and Black in, in the rose. Um, and again, you can just see that it just isn't as neat at blending. Then this one here, this is the Dilusions um, Fresh Lime. Um, and again, the Vibrant Turquoise. And I've compared that with, um, a, again, another um, artist um, acrylic. This is the Amsterdam uh, uh, acrylic in Olive Green Light. And I've blended that with the phthalo turquoise. And again, you can see that the Dilusions has just blended much, much better. Um, and again, I just think it's a more consistent um, blend with the, with the Dilusions. This one here is Dilusions London Blue and Crawford and Black um, Cerulean. Um, and again, I just think that, again, it's much more consistent coverage compared to, to this, this one here. Um, so, so there you go. What else have I done? Here we go. This is Fresh Lime. Um, again, I've chosen a couple of different colours this time. That, that's Dilutions Fresh Lime. That's Amsterdam um, Acrylic in the Olive Green Light. And I've also grabbed um, the Lime Yellow in the Reeves um, Acrylic. So these are both artist quality um, paint, but I, there's just something about the dilutions that that um, that I I like. And then, what have we got here again? Um, that's the London blue and the the cerulean. And then again here, I've blended the um, vibrant turquoise with the with the lime green, and you can see that it just blends better. And this one has really buckled, whereas this one's just stayed completely flat. So you can get you know similar effects with you with your other other colours and in fact what I'd like to do is the page that I did for mixed media morsels the other day I'll try and replicate that using standard um, acrylic paints and then you'll be able to see like for like um, the difference so hope that helps um, you can get 
effect with with any of the paints that that you buy. I just like personally like um, the Dialusions. I find them really easy to use, really easy to pick up paint out of the jar and use with the with the dabbers, and and that's just just my preference. I also find as well that with the um, as as most of you know, I really like the um, Ranger Distress, the Tim Holtz Distress paints. Um, you just get a completely different effect um, with those to, to other acrylics and I'll have to do a comparison with those for, for you too. But anyway, hope you like that. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what, um, what your thoughts are, what you think. Anyway, see you all again soon. Bye for now.